Mayor Alice Clayton is here to talk to us about redheads. Hey, Alice. Hey, Sherry. How you doing? <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today. We're so excited to have you. I am thrilled to be here. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, let's talk about the redhead series. Let's do that. Especially the redhead plays her hat. Yeah, this is um, my latest book. It just came out in December, and this is the last book in the redhead series. Oh, no. I think. I think. Maybe we can talk her into another one. Though. Yeah, I will write more for cash. Oh, there it's we go. It's not a problem. <laughs> yeah, so, or, or, or bananas, I don't know yet. Um, yeah, it's the last book in the Redhead series, and it's, it's really close to my heart, and it's just, it's just such a nice little way to button up this, this very sexy, very steamy, but very emotional series, too. So it's really exciting. Tell us a little bit about Grace, the character. Grace Sheridan is um, an older woman who comes back to Hollywood, older at 33, which is older. Um, she comes back to kind of try her second hand at, at acting in this Hollywood dream that she gave up on years and years ago. And um, when she gets out here, she meets Jack Hamilton, who's kind of this up and coming um, Hollywood star. And he's British, so we oh, love that. And he's got an accent. He's got an accent, so forget about it. Um, and he's 24, so there, wow. there's this age difference, and there, suddenly she's now thrust into the this new world of paparazzi and tan sedans following her. and. All these these other these other things in the middle of this very hot, very steamy um, love affair that they're having, oh. set across kind of the backdrop of of Hollywood. Of Hollywood, yeah. and there's something special about Grace. She's a curvy girl. She is a curvy girl. It's it's really interesting. She's a curvy girl um, only in Hollywood. Right. The rest of the country, she is perfectly wonderful and and healthy and and gorgeous and voluptuous. But here in Hollywood, she's a curvy girl, and it comes up every single time she's spotted with Jack Hamilton. It's this unidentified redhead, older redhead, voluptuous redhead. And as she um, kind of becomes an actress in her own right, gets her own series, really comes to the forefront. She does, and she actually becomes a hero to other curvy girls in the book. She does, she does. So in kind of this weird twist of fate, she has, of course, this this kind of contingent of people online that don't like her because she's dating Jack Hamilton. Right much like everybody, did not care for the Kristen Stewart with the Robert Pattinson. Right. Um, I can't even talk about Robert Pattinson. Do we have time to talk about? Okay. Um, <clears throat> we'll segue back to that. Um, but there's this other very small but beginning to be very vocal contingent of women online. They're like, leave her alone. She's gorgeous. How could you possibly say anything about this gorgeous woman? And so right. she kind of draws her strength from that and is bolstered by that. So And it's wonderful. And she's empowering other curvy girls. She is. Is, definitely and what's so interesting is as I was writing this book and putting the putting the finishing touches on it um, all this flap about Jennifer Lawrence yeah. being a big girl which is ludicrous came yeah. out and all these retouching stories came out and so I'm like I just wrote that in the book you did the you book. did yeah you, so. you did Grace had it first Ex yes. right? Jennifer Lawrence <laughs> let's talk about that <laughs> Yes. So it's just, I think it's very timely and very topical. Um, you know, there, there's such pressure on women in this town to be gorgeous and, and just be unnaturally thin. Right. Um, and so then you, you see someone that actually has a real body on television. And, and I think that people rally towards yeah. that. So. I absolutely agree. And we love Grace. What a great character. But I want to talk a bit about Alice. Okay. I, um, I always close my show by saying live for today is one of the, the sentiments that I, I, I say. And I know in your 30s, you had a whole new career change. I did. Out of nowhere at um, 33, oddly yeah. enough, was kind of my turning point as well. Um, I had worked for years in retail management and I was an esthetician and I was uh, a makeup artist and um, a trainer for a, a big cosmetics corporation and I had never written anything before, wow. ever. And uh, other than a freshman 101 class when yeah. I was in college. And so um, I just started having these ideas and I, I wrote what became The Unidentified Redhead. And so I have written four books in my entire life and all four have been published. So this is just like the, the biggest wonderful whirlwind all of a sudden. So there's no reason that you can't just make a course right. correction in the middle of your life. Right. There's, and do something there's, new. There's no time. There, it's never a good time, but there's always time to do it. That's there kinda, is. You know, it, I think in life, if we wait for the perfect time to make a change, it never happens. You'll never do and it. And like you did, you just jumped in. And look at you, four books. Yeah. That's With three it, more coming out this year. That's incredible. It's that's bananas. Absolutely incredible. So you're, you're, is this your dream? Are you living your dream? 
I am. I, it's just absolutely amazing. You know, I lived in Los Angeles when I was in my early 20s and I left and I'm now just kind of rediscovering this whole creative side to me that um, I never knew it would take the form of writing. Yeah. Um, but it, it, that's, that's kind of how it's come out again. And so it's just, I'm just having the best time. I'm literally having the best time. That, so. That's wonderful. And for everybody out there, you really have to get these books. They're steamy, yes. they're hot, and they are fun to read. They're the type of books that you don't want to put down. That's my hope. That's my hope. You know, I am under no illusions that I'm ever going to write the great American novel. Um, what I would love to do is write a book that you want to take on vacation with yeah. you, that you're reading um, when you're on the train because you can't stop reading it, yeah. that you will sneak away at work to the ladies' room to read a couple more pages. pages. So I'm going to encourage you to not do work. Right? Um, obviously. <laughs> yeah, that, that's all I want to do is just entertain and make you giggle and make you swoony and make you want to go home and, oh, ooh, and, and, and you have got sex the with little, your husband. Ooh, yes. That's the, the goal. Moments. And you've done that. You have done that. I got to ask you about another word wall bangers. Wallbanger, yes. Wallbanger is uh, what kind of put me on the map. That was actually my third book to come out, and um, it just went crazy town on the internet. It just it ran up to number two on Amazon, and it sat there for two weeks, and wow. just really just kind of put my name on the map. And so it's just been it's 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 over a year now that Wallbanger's been out, um, and it's still people are still saying I just got this book, I just got this book, and they're still really excited about it. So. And did a little birdie tell me is there another Wallbanger book coming out there very soon? Is. <laughs> yes, so the little birdie was me, and very excited about it. Uh, yes, Rusty Nailed is the sequel to Wallbanger. Um, and is the second book in what we're calling the cocktail series. Ooh. So I also hear something about a travel show. What is that all yes. about? Well, I have nothing else to do, so <laughs> I decided um, that it, it kind of came, the impetus came from my best friend Keely, who lives out here, and um, the only time we see each other is if we go and we travel somewhere. Aww. And so we thought, what a great idea to just kind of throw some you know, crazy women in a car and take them on a road trip. Wow. And so we threw in with our bestie, uh, Brittany Gibbons, yep. Um, from Brittany herself, and then Greg Grunberg, who you would know from Heroes, and Felicity had a huge crush on him back wow. on Felicity, um, and Lost. He was like, this is a great idea. Not only do I want to be a part of this, I want to be on it. So oh, the four wow. of us are now working on this. It's called Have Boobs Will Travel. Have Boobs Will Travel. Have Boobs Will what Travel. What a great name. What it's, a great name. It's pretty name. great, because we all have sweet racks. Right? So, including Grunberg. Um, <laughs> Kill me for that. Um, and, and so we just decided, like, let's just do this. and right, let's, let's just get in the car and go. Yeah, he's got this great big station wagon, Woody. It's ridiculous. <laughs> and so we drove all over just shooting the most ridiculous things. And so... That yeah. is wonderful. It's exciting. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to watch the show. Uh, it's it's very exciting. That is wonderful. Ellis, thank you so much for being with us today. Oh my goodness. You are such a delight. Everybody, you have to get out and get these books. They are incredible. That's true. They will um, keep you reading and not wanting to put them down. One last parting thought. Um, any advice for curvy girls out there? Oh, my goodness. Um, invest in a great bra. <laughs> uh, foundation garments are your friend <laughs> um, and just realize that I, nobody feels comfortable nobody feels comfortable I'm not comfortable right now <laughs> but you're but doing I a feel good job like I might look a little comfortable right. yeah a again love yourself love that's yourself. really what it comes down to right absolutely you know, just love yourself and and know that you know that, that it's just it's all about you and and what you're happy about so yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. Alice Clayton, everybody. Your curvy body's going on top. Looking good with your fashion style. Life is so